Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Terror Ventures. It's the 34th episode and since it's nearing Christmas we are going to be doing a little bit of a secret Santa. Now this thing actually has been going on in the background for the last couple of weeks. So it's today and we'll be drawing a name. Now as I record this it's the 8th of December which is our drawing day. So let's just have a look. We just need to name something which we already did. Dump it in here and then we, if we open the chest and take a name it should give us a name. And, oh wait, no, that's not, that's my name. It looks like we might have to redraw that. So let's just do that now. Okay, let's have a look. And we've got myself again. That's not, that's, what incredible luck. I suppose I just have to put that back. And, okay, that's better. Char3640. This person's actually one of the new persons in the realm. So I think we can get this person a whole, whole stack of really, really good stuff. So let's go back to my base. Or actually, no, we need an ender chest. And because I've still got a whole stack of stuff in my chest here, in my ender chest full of goodies. And what we don't have, what we don't have is, what we don't have is uh, ender chest. So what are, we, what are we trying to say? What we need to do is to get, he, is we're going to give him a whole stack of goodies for, to get him started. So we've got all these things. So we might try and combine a couple of these things. We might give him a pickaxe and an elytra and just a whole stack of things that will most definitely help him get started on his journey in this realm. So let's, what we should probably do is get ourselves a, ooh, excuse me, we should probably get ourselves a bit of wool to make it get ourselves a big present here. Label it char 3640 or 3640 or whatever it should be pronounced as and dump the whole st and dump the things in it. All right, so now that we've relabeled this box Secret Santa, we've got ourselves our emerald boxes and our elytra boxes. So we'll dump one elytra in here of the armor. I think we'll give that a pass. Let's see, he would probably, let's see. Hmm, of these, do you definitely want mending in there? And that's, or oh, fortune two, efficiency four, silk, and breaking. Hmm, this is a bit hard because all my unbreaking ones have silk on them. On this doesn't, so I might make it. Well, yeah, those three together should be nice. So let's combine them. Hopefully, this thing lasts. That's going to give silk touch if we do that. So we want to put the mending, the fortune first, and that's going to give us fortune two. And then we can do that. And there we go. A fortune pickaxe. A sword now. And this one is pretty good, I reckon. So, although it doesn't have mending. I don't think I've got a mending. I don't think I've got a mending sword. So let's dump that in as well. Okay. Armor. We don't have that many ones. We'll give him the fire protection three. We shall give him... Projectile 4, and this one's got 2, so we'll give him that. And we might as well throw the diamond, the diamond chest plate in there as well. So that's four different things. We don't have a pickaxe, and we don't have the book. So we might have to work on getting him a nice pickaxe as well. So let's just go over to the bookshop, collect a few books. Hopefully I've got good things. And then we can get started on, on, giving, on making the present. All right, so we're in our bookshop. Let's have a look. So we really, what we want is, hopefully we can get ourselves a, probably fortune would be better, since that can repair itself. We've got a mending book. So fortune, efficiency if we can find it, and a, an unbreaking. So, although this is even breaking, no it doesn't. So let's have a look. Let's quickly scan through. I don't think we've got many of those. So hopefully there's one in here. Yeah. Keep looking, keep looking. Quick charge, flame, protection, smite. This might be a little bit... Oh, sharpness. No, that's not what I want. Blast, punch, quick, smite, feather. This is not looking good. And no stuff. Although there is a grow in here, which I'll dump in as well. So what I will do is if I'll go back to the base, put the mending on, and hopefully he can find books and such to put fortune and whatnot on his thing. 
And there we go, I reckon this is a really, really generous present. I don't think I'm going to get as much back, but I don't really mind giving this much for for this dude, because as I said, he is new, so we can definitely splurge a little bit. Although I could probably give him a conduit, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to make use of it though. But yeah, no, oh yeah, but won't bother. Alright, now I need to find a whole stack of wool. I don't think I've got enough. 764, that might not be enough. We'll have to go through and make sure we got every single piece of wool we can possibly get from these chests. There's a pink one in there. And then dye it two different colors, red and possibly... No, um, actually, no, let's make it black and white since those are my colors. And, and go from there. We got no more wool in here, I reckon. Seven there. So yes, nearly there, nearly there to finish up. I should probably still mention that even while, as I'm building this, it still is the 8th. So I am building this well in advance, but I'm trying to just, it's more for the recording that I'm doing this rather than more than anything else. So let's, let's see, wool there. And then if we do this as well, put one in the corner and same here. We should be, this should be, look pretty okay, I reckon. Although we're going to be pretty low on wool supplies, unfortunately. Okay, we'll put a wool there. It's a present, okay. And then we just need to put a little bit of a bow on it. So, like that. Bring up. Bring up. And close it off with a black one, I guess. No, that, that looks pretty bad, but... Hmm, what can I do to improve it? So maybe if I made these two ones black instead of the top one. So wall there, black there, wall there, a black wall there, and finish off like that. That looks a little bit better. We should get rid of those. And that should look pretty good, pretty good from the bottom. It's probably not the best looking present in the world, but yes, now I just need one sign because I forgot one of those, so <laughs> I really should have thought about this sooner. Let's quickly hop back to the base and get one and we can label this thing with the person whose name it is. I decided to go with an item frame because that's slightly better, so let's put that here and there we go. So this person, when they come up, they can just say char 3640 and done. So that should be a nice present and hopefully he or she, I'm pretty sure it's a he, but he enjoys it. Right, so after quite a bit of time working on the stadium back at my main base, I've decided it's time to start work or do a bit more work on this project that we've had going for a little while, which is the Outback Mega Store. So what I'm thinking is first, or what we've been thinking first, is that we're going to put a terracotta level, so selling all kinds of terracotta on the sec on the first level, so not the ground level, but the level just above it. And I've been doing quite a bit of stone of terracotta collecting at my at my stonecutter farm. What do you call it? The the villager farm. So what we what we really want here is firstly a what should, what do we call it? We call this a water elevator. So wh what I do want is just something like that. Although not like that because the water would naturally go up. But something like that. So just some arrows showing that you need to go up this way. So perhaps if we made this glass all the way up. And then used... Can we get there? Yes we can. And then use the yellow glass to, to mark out the way up. So something like that. No. Um, this isn't going as well as I thought it would. So something like that, like that. So that's pretty good. And no, 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 no. And we want red here. And the soul sand here, I reckon. So we can put signs here to prevent the water from coming out. And so on and so forth. So let's get up there. Let's put, get ourselves a bucket of water and put the water elevator in so this can get to our terracotta level. All right, so now that we've got our water elevator here, what we want to do is turn this entire thing into a bit of a mesa biome. So 
as you can see, I've got quite a bit of red sand, which hopefully I've got enough. Although now looking at how much it took me to do just one line there, it might not be, but we'll have to see. So the idea here is just to turn this entire thing, as I said, into a meter biome, cover the entire thing with red sand. We'll leave that there so we can get it up and then put some terracotta pillars in. So hopefully this works and hopefully our grand design for this level will look very good and will entice people to buy terracotta from our store. Okay, so now I had just enough sand, or a bit more than just enough sand, so I might do a couple of layers of sand here and there, but the main idea now is to try and figure out where all the where all the barrels for my terracotta is going to go. I'm thinking up here on the far end, but that does mean that whoever comes into the store has to go all the way to this end, buy, get what they need, and then go down some way. I haven't actually figured out how they're going to get down. But let's see, how can we do this? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not going to be enough room, is it? We need 16. So we need to find a place that can take 16. So let's try again. Maybe we'll do something else. But let's put in a couple of different layers here. Let's just something random here. So something like this just random placement something like this no not too high something like this should do it quite perfectly I reckon then if we leap around to our original starting point and fill in the rest with proper sand red sand this should fit perfectly I reckon so let's fill this up and start building something else as well Okay, and with a little bit of building, we've got ourselves something like a Mesa biome. We do have the red sand, we've got our, our terracotta pillars. I've gone with, I think it's black on the bottom, no, grey on the bottom, then brown, then white. So I think it, that gives just a little bit of a tower, and I've gone with just a few of these. Now, normally in a terracotta biome or a Mesa biome, it, every single Y coordinate is the same, but I've decided to go with something different here, just to give a little bit of a different depth and what not to it. Now I've also put in the barrels that are going to serve as our supply kits so I just need to restock everything in. I haven't yet decided the prices though I need to discuss that but let's put the red in here and we need to remember to take one out. The orange here again there and so on and so forth so let's dump it all in and hmm to under the side would it be better up here or on the ground let's have a look at what do we have here in terms of space because what we want to make sure is if we put it on the wall when we build up the outside of the of the building the walls aren't going to get disrupted so yes if we were to put a barrel here and a and a item frame there it would work perfectly so let's well let's first eat because i'm getting hungry in here where's my food there so okay, let's put in our let's put it stock up all the stuff with terracotta and then discuss with the other guys as to what we would like our prices to be. Right yo, and there we go. I've got our tower here, which is of course the way to go up, as you saw earlier. And this one's for the second level ouch. That one's for the second level. However, if we come over here, we've got our downpipe, which I'll probably put some glass in to show that it's the downpipe. Where we just come in, land in here, and we've got our prices. So at the moment, I've got terracotta at one diamond for 20, which I think is a pretty reasonable price. And the barrel can just go in there for p paying. So what we should do is probably light up the top story. So let's get ourselves some glowstone I reckon because that would suit the that would suit the Mesa pretty well I reckon so I need to head back to my base as normal I've been using a lot of rockets going back and forth but a bit of terracotta bit of bit of glowstone and we should while I am restocking this as well or stocking this thing up I've decided to also do a little bit of work on working the rest of this thing so I've decided to go with sandstone instead of red sandstone because I don't have enough red sand. But we shall have to 
put a whole stack of this thing in and I reckon it uh, looks pretty good. What I might do as well is put in a glowstone in the middle there because that might actually look better. So where did I put the glowstone? It's not in my inventory. Dang it. Ugh. This is the this is the point I wish I wish I was a little bit better at figuring out what I'm going to do before I hit record. So let's find the redstone. No, I mean the glowstone. It's not here. Oh, right. I put it back in my base. Never mind. Let's finish this off and then go back to the base again to get the glowstone. And here we go. I put in the glowstone. I've also put in a birch. What do you call this? A birch trap door on top just to cover it up a little and to meld with the grey stand the light brown sandstone that's there. So I reckon that looks pretty good. We do need a roof but we I need to discuss with the other guys as to how tall we want this particular level because that will affect how tall we put these windows and whatnot. Although that ha having said that, I think five is just about right and five does seem to be the height at which we are going for. So we shall have to see what they say as well. It's been a little while since the last clip but I've been building up the outside of this with what little resources I have. So I've taken all the black terracotta from our sails and used it in here because the outside of the building is going to be way more important than the sails that we'll make. Well, the sails will be good but we really want to make sure this outside looks good. So you can see I've built it up. We still need some dark oak trapdoors on this line here where my map cursor is. The we will still need to figure out the ceiling and the the ceiling slash floor for the next bit. But I'm thinking, ow, oh, that I won't crash into the ground. I'm thinking that we will have a sandstone maybe. But as I say, it's going to have to be decided by the other guys as well. So that's something I have to discuss with them. I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. So I think what I should do is have a look through and we didn't have as much stock as we'd hope to like. I did get one of the other guys to fill up this orange chest, so that's good. But overall we're actually sitting on pretty low stock for most of the terracotta. That said, I don't really expect the terracotta to move that much. I don't expect to make many sales, so I suppose we'll just have to see how we go. This didn't actually cost me many diamonds at all, it just cost me a whole stack of emeralds, which is yeah, not that good, but I suppose it's better than using diamonds to, or having to go out and get it myself. So those stone cutters back on my base have been extremely useful. Now this thing over here I'm pretty happy with as well. Though we do want a nether elevator here going to the third story which will be an aqua one I believe. So we need to get some cyan and some other glass bits. And then over here we'll have another one. And by not breaking that let's put that back. And the last one will be over here, I think. Hopefully that leaves an even number of space. So yes, that's only four levels. That's not quite enough. Hmm. We'll have to think about that one. But maybe from certain level we can have a third or a, a we can have a holding level where you can go into higher levels. So we'll have to decide because we may need to change the number of levels we have at the moment or planned at the moment. At the moment we've got seven or so. So yes, there's quite a bit. And of course we're planning to have our own offices at the top where we can split the diamonds, diamond profit. So let's get started on building the next level, which I believe is an aqua level. So we'll get the glass and the bits that we need and hopefully we can get that done now. And after a rather simple building process, we've got our water tower to the third level or second level of your counting the ground one and not as one. So that is it's just made out of cyan, cyan glass and some prismarine and if we just hop down to the bottom we can see it's just pretty much the same thing here just a slightly different color to indicate what is being sold on this particular level. So hopefully this will help us quite a bit as we attempt to navigate between our different levels. Unfortunately that is all I've got time for today so I hope you've liked this episode and if you have remember to leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to shop both. Shop at this shop for all your terracotta needs as well as to like and subscribe and keep watching out for the next video. Goodbye!